Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Phantom Strategies. Uh, so I know it's been a while since I made the video, uh, but just want to bring you an update on Bitcoin. Just have been really busy with my personal trading and just focusing more on, um, you know, just uh, on the S&P 500 because I've been seeing a lot of action on the stock market side, on the commodity side. So I have been focusing more on that. But I uh, wanted to bring you more action on the crypto market right now. Um, since we are getting, uh, you know, some traction right now, um, so let's let's do a little bit walk through before I dive into this video and kind of give you my input on what I'm seeing. Um, that what why, what we might see um, uh, in this month of January and February. Okay, so I'll talk through some scenarios that are um, that might happen uh, for later part of January and upcoming February. All right. Uh, so as we all know, in December we had this massive. Uh, massive like you know drop off a lot of like the volume came in some headline news so combination of those things triggered uh, panic selling if you will and then we became quite oversold um, the level that 34 3500 was pretty oversold we had a decent bounce from that uh, we went to 4300 then had another round of sell-off and then we went to a little more extreme on the on the downside uh, up to 3200 um, within pr pretty short period within like a couple of weeks we went to 30 uh, 3200 so that was a drastic drop uh, too uh, like it just went too fast uh, and that was a good good opportunity to you know uh, pick up some coins especially for uh, uh, for a, like you know short-term trading and I was I made the previous video on that that okay if you're getting into it that make sure you're securing the profits um, even if it's 20 30 40 50 percent uh, like you know people have seen those 30 40 percent profit within a few days um, so that's that's when you really need to make sure that you're you know booking or securing some of those profits because um, this market have been very much on a roller coaster ride and especially when you have the average true range of a market which is quite high uh, that's when you say so if you look at this ATR ATR is basically is called average true range and this is ATR calculation based on 14 last 14 days of trading so if you see uh, from November it was drop it was really really low when we were just moving about 100 um, you know about 100 dollars on a given day and all of a sudden from November 14th um, we were going up to almost 300 400 dollars in a, in a day as far as the move was concerned in Bitcoin so we had a drastic move that happened in uh, mid-November um, when these things were starting to drop and um, you know and now what we are seeing is um, you know uh, a kind of a consolidation on the downside uh, people are trying to test some water and see if they are is if it's okay to get back into the market um, what I see right now is still like you know there is a lot of uncertainty in the market all right um, the reason there are you know obviously some major reason is like you know a uh, uh, lot of headline overhead news that that are still coming into um, the market like you know uh, the taxes you know um, in the capital gain taxes and like um, uh, uncertainty from the you know government on the regulations then you have this you know the people who have been investing in the crypto market in general are really amateur investors you know they are people um, who have been like just you know investing something first time in their life so they tend to do a lot of trading with emotions so they get very emotional with the trading when their things are dropping they just like okay I, I, I don't care I want to get out of the and when their things are going up they want to just jump on the bandwagon is like okay everything's gonna go to the moon so a lot of the like majority of the traders are very uh, amateur in their trading because this is the first time they're trading um, uh, the markets and you know uh, uh, they tend to trade 
operate more with their emotions rather than with their uh, with the logic or with some rational uh, what we are still seeing right now is we are getting some bounce right now but there is still a lot of uncertainty in this market and I it's, it's still very undecisive um, which can swing either way to be honest with you right now it's anyone's call but I'm seeing a lot of resistance that we need to clear on the upside so it will be it will be hard for the bulls to clear this resistance on the upside i'm looking at the daily uh, uh chart for bitcoin and we have this 50 day moving average upcoming um then we have the nine day and the 20 day so there's a lot of resistance that we have to you know go pass through and then we have the uh the trend line resistance then we have the 41 4200 a uh, price point resistance so there will be a lot of resistance that bulls have to go through in order to make their case toward 4200 and beyond all right on the downside you know it can drop if we if we lose the support we can easily come down to uh 3200 and retest that level that that is a very very possible scenario so please do keep that in mind this is not we are not out in the open right now that you know it's clear sky and everything's gonna be nice and rosy from this point on all right so please do uh use your risk management you know techniques make sure you're going with small uh you know positions taking periodic profits uh you know putting stop losses in your position when you're going in uh, those are some basic things that you should be doing and you know just staying on top of the market so um it, it, uh, the, the whole thing about this market is like you know uh, we are don't be like you know mistaken we are still in the downtrend i have mentioned this in my previous video that i made in january we're still in downtrend so please don't be mistaken by any you know any uh, any surprise that you know we might uh we are getting a lot of like green in the screen today and you know everything's going to be nice and rosy now it's, it's still we have to we have to go we need to really go you know small steps before we can think a little bit longer term picture because we need to clear this um this broken support uh levels that we that were that were breached previously so we need to regain those support levels uh with a conviction and then we can uh think for the next steps uh going toward like you know the bigger target which is around 5200 all right so that's all right now i'm going to make some more videos um again i have been like a little bit off uh, uh making the video i have been focusing more on the uh, and the stock and the commodities market uh, since uh, the crypto market was a little bit slower in earlier weeks so but i'm, I'm back uh, uh, i'm watching the crypto market regularly so i will uh, keep posting those videos and hopefully uh, you're learning something from it uh, if you do please um, you know post a comment uh, you know see what else you would like to uh, let me know what else you want me to cover in this videos um, you know again if you're new to the channel subscribe to the channel hit those uh, notifications and the like button so it really keeps me motivated in um, making this videos for you guys all right talk to you soon